Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in to 726 right here in Harrison, Arkansas. We want to welcome everybody to the show. We've got a great show for you this week. We've been off for, gosh, we've been off for almost a month, haven't we? We have. Yeah. And uh, you were down in the, you were down in, Cali you were in California, weren't you? No, Somewhere? I was in Mexico. Other, oh, Mexico. Other coast. That, that you were in the Pacific, right? Yes. You were in the, in the Gulf. No. And you were the down Pacific. there, you were, you were bringing drugs across the border, is that right? Sorry, I Where couldn't, did that I couldn't, come from? I couldn't resist. No, we actually just went on a trip, and we decided we would we were going to dive as well. And the yeah. diving was no. pretty, it, well, the visibility was not good. They had had, well, storms, had storms before there, yeah. we got there, and we dove a couple of days and then just hung out at a new resort, which was oh. really, really nice. Okay. Yeah. But we flew out actually in front of a hurricane. In front of it? Could you see it off in the distance? You could see the storm clouds, yeah. but how I knew there was a problem, like that it had turned into a hurricane, was I got a text message saying, United has canceled your flight. We've rebooked you. Well, I got another text message that said, that flight had been canceled. We've rebooked oh you again. Oh. And another flight, <laughs> then they rebooked us for the next day. And we were like, um, we really want out of here. So yeah. we booked with another airline and got out at an earlier flight. Yeah. It was like rush around and... Mm. Get the heck yeah. to the airport. So what's the, are you going to have, are you planning another trip? Because that would be I'll be gone in January 1st. I'm leaving. Oh, okay. Well, that's cold. It will be, well, not in the, <coughs> not where we're going. Honduras <laughs> will be warm. You ever want to do any cave diving or anything like that? Or? I don't know. I think I'd, I would rather, I don't know. Yeah, I think that would be fun. If you do, but it you, was a short but, cave. and. Well, I want to do a course in it, you know, to. Now, you're certified, right? Right. Yeah. I'm a certified idiot. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's different certifications. Right. There's night diving, there's cave diving, there's what other diving? Underwater photography, fish okay. identification. I just oh, did okay. my rescue diver. Yeah. And then there's also search and recovery and okay. that kind of thing. But so you never but you never dive alone. There's I no, no never would. No never certification would. For that. Yeah. I never would. Yeah. I know yeah. some people who have and Yeah. Now, when you're di down there diving, I mean, if you run out of air, does the other person supposed to give you air? Or well, you got to let them or they know. they do a wave and say bye? You go. <laughs> very, yeah. Does that ever happen? No. no. You're I'm up. very conscientious to you keep meter, track of right? those things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah same way. I'm not, I'm not like a, I don't, I, I'm very conscientious and mm -hmm. conservative. Mm -hmm. You're not a risk taker. <laughs> not with that. Yeah. Okay. But we had to, during this course I took, we had to, go through those protocols, you know, like if you ran out of air or if you came across a diver mm -hmm, who mm -hmm. had run out of air and what to do and underwater and yeah. all that. But I'm sure it would be a different story if it was real life. You mm -hmm, know, this mm -hmm. is staged. So, yeah. anyway. Oh, well. But it gives it's you, fun. Yeah, yeah it's fun. Yeah. Gives you a we reason. Enjoy it. it gives you a purpose in life. And purpose. <laughs> gives you a purpose in life to get on the airplane and, and go to great places to die. Yeah. Cool. One reef yeah. at a time. Have you noticed the, the housing market lately? What about that, Dan? Uh, well, I've been looking for houses. You know, I'm getting older, and I want to, I've got a three-level house, and I mm -hmm. want a, a one-level. So what's your? It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Like, I know If you're thinking while, about selling a house. Now's the time. Uh, yeah. My house in the last six months has increased in value $60,000. Really? Yes. Have you listed it? Have you gone Not, that far? No, but people, uh, real estate people want to list it. Even people from out of the state uh -huh. are influxing into this area. Yeah, for good reason. I mean, mm -hmm. their reasoning is. Right. And you, you know, we, we sell internet, and most people, when they move into this area and they're in a rural area, they'll call us to get, you know, information, right. prices, and that kind of thing. And, uh, I'll just talk with them a little bit. And I, they'll say, I come from Portland. Why'd you leave there? And they said, if you've heard the news in Portland, I mean, it's crazy. People, yeah. people, you know, and that's a great crime thing about Crime and all that <clears throat> is. Yeah, crime and just uncertainty of what's going to happen. Yeah. And they want to come to a, you know, a great place like this. And then we'll turn into the same. Yeah, after a while, you know. <laughs> well, you people Hopefully come not. into an area and they want to change it like their, you know, their, right. uh, their life. So have you found any houses? <coughs> I mean, while you're looking? Gave up. Really? 
Mm -hmm. They sell almost, I think, as quickly as people, if you don't jump on it. Well, my neighbor, was my cousin's wife, put it out that she was going to list it. Mm -hmm. She sold it in three or four days without wow. even listing it. And there were people lining up to buy that house. So you can't really find a house that you No, want. we're going to build a house. Oh, okay. We're going to build a pole barn, a barn dominium. Uh-huh. Like in it? town or out no, on your property? on my property. Okay. I'm just going to divide the property and we're just going to, um, you know, there's you can build it like <coughs> you want There's places now. that that's, you can either buy a kit to yeah. buy, and you can build it in stages. And I used to build houses. So You'll do that not, yourself, aren't you? I'm not, if, you know, we'll, we'll see how long I last Well, physically. we were talking about exercise before we started yeah. the show. And that'll. It'll keep me. That'll keep you it'll going. Keep me, uh, it'll keep me motivated. For sure. I bet I'll sleep good at night. I bet you will. <clears throat> if you don't, don't break anything. Yeah. What are you looking at? I, I'm looking at the people in the room and the time and all okay. kinds of stuff. I'm multitasking over here. Okay. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Haven't seen you for a while. Oh. Now we're okay. Now that's that. done with that. Let's get on with the show. <laughs> no. You want to tell everybody I'm who's gonna on? I'm going to tell people yeah. who's on. Do right. your job. We have Twyla Ruff and Christy Elrod with Ozark Rape Crisis Center up first. And Beth Kaffenberger, and I don't have the right name. I don't oh. remember your name. Tina Farmer with the Boone County Library. <laughs> and rounding mm -hmm. out the show, Wanda Massengale will be here. She's representing the Ozark Humane Society. Okay. has Pet of the Week, Lucky, a four-month-old male hound mix. Lucky. Let's go to Lucky. Okay. Lucky's going to be lucky because right. somebody's going to adopt Lucky. Yeah. We will go to break and we will be joined by Twyla and Christy. Stay with us. Yeah. 